yeah, I'm Vishal. Um, I'm one of the like lead organisers of a new project called, well, I want it to be called the Lean Mean Green Catering Machine, but none of these guys will rally behind that name. So instead we're a food sovereignty catering collective. Essentially, we've been given the opportunity to cater for a conference on climate change and Prague here thought it would be a good idea, rather than getting Warwick conferences who waste a lot, don't have ethical sources of food and things like that, rather than getting them to cater for it, get a group of uh, food activists to cook for it. So what we've done is uh, Allotment Society, the Food Cooperative, Raucus, who deal with food waste, we've all come together um, to cater for this conference. All of that stuff there is from Coventry Market, um, the plantain, the tomatoes, all that's in Coventry Market going to waste. There's always that, that dichotomy between trying to get the powers that be, getting the corporations, getting Tesco's, getting the government to change policy to stop waste and save the environment versus doing something yourself. We enjoy doing this kind of thing um, and we're trying to show that something that happens on a regular basis, say for example catering for a conference, where conferences are huge, it makes loads of money, that can persistently and constantly be catered for in this manner. Using the food co-op, using ethical local sources is possible. Vishal already mentioned that we've sourced a lot of our produce from local farms, uh, but also a food co-op that was set up using a workers' cooperative which uh, prioritises organic food and fair trade, which, while imperfect now, um, do, for us, represent an important political stance. If you kind of join us, then you're helping that fight. So it's not just about saying the food, the, the supermarkets can get away with, with palming off their food waste with us. It's finding solutions that are emergent now, that are in their infancy, but that can be, that can be built um, uh, and rolled out, hopefully across you know, the country and the rest of the world. But yeah, no, it's awesome. Like, it's been really nice to cater for this event, because normally like, when you cater for events like this or you go to conferences like this, there's so much waste. None of the food's vegan, or there might be just a little option here or there. And at the end, the only reason we turn up is to get all the waste at the end of it and eat it. Here, we're going to be encouraging people to take the waste home with them and eat it at home. Most of the stuff came from waste in the first place. And also, it's not going to Nest Cafe or whoever it is that provides a coffee. It's going to Clipper, natural, fair and delicious. <laughs> so yeah, the show has been open since beginning of January, we started mid-January and we started one night a week. There's another shelter down um, Bradford Road which has been going for about six or seven years. It's run by Chris and Margaret. Um, they open two nights a week. Uh, my friend Susan was volunteering there and we kind of had the idea that maybe we can just start up our own one. And we get good reviews here, like that people really enjoy the place and they get a lot from it. Even if they don't need the shelter, just having somewhere to go that's warm, free from drugs and alcohol yeah. is good for a lot of people. They have night shelters and handouts like this. Um, it's okay um, as a maintenance, but there needs to be a long-term solve for this problem. They, they, they need to have permanent shelters like this um, instead of temporary shelters. My experience of homelessness is um, basically they, they class us as undesirables. I've had my own flat now for two and a half years, um, but I've been in and out of trouble for the past 13, 14 years, um, and I sort of sorted myself out about six years ago. Um, and uh, yeah, I've sort of had a relapse about three, four weeks ago. Only once you deal with someone's material circumstances, like their food and their shelter, can they then move up to the next level, which is like maybe social interaction or whatever, then maybe getting a job or maybe doing things for other people, etc. You know, like things are getting really shit, but just knowing that they could come here, like they said, gave them the strength to keep it going, you know? <laughs>